page 131 uh, and yesterday they'd still been discussing the thieving of things. Saad Sali had accused Taru. Taru had explained that um, it must be the bad spirits on the, the third bit of the island um, who'd been causing trouble for them. Um, here we go, the bad spirits, and the next day we find their dead bodies somewhere close to our village. That was the warriors who went to look for the stolen things. Saad Sali broke the startled silence, which is startled silence, which followed the boy's terrified words with a gruff, sneering laugh. <laughs> Did you ever hear such a lot of mumble jumble, he scoffed. Judith must have thought mumbo jumbo was a bit boring so he's gone for mumble jumble there'd be no mystery about the missing stuff if you searched that boy and the natives went oh i've forgotten side side is a bit london isn't it there'd be no mystery about the missing stuff if you search that boy and the natives when they bring that food to us to fatten us up like cattle being prepared for slaughtering that's quite enough of that, Sally, cried Captain Clifford angrily. We don't want to hear any more of that sort of talk. You won't, snapped with his rattle fight, rattle Barney. You won't, snapped back Sally. I'm through with trying to talk sense into blind fools. Swinging upon his heels, he strode away into the jungle. Nice sociable fellow, but not my type, cried Tony with a slightly jarring laugh. Ha ha ha. He'll come creeping back into the fall when he's cooled off and he starts getting hungry. But this time Tony was right off the beam. Tony's, Tony's, Tony's always right off the beam. Sorry, Paul Hickey, but somebody's got to say it. Saad Sali had not returned to camp the next morning when the war canoe rode sedately into the lagoon to bring the Papalangis yet another tasty feast which had been prepared in the native village hat is moving and was being brought to them steaming hot straight from the smouldering embers of the cooking trenches. I thought they were going to teach them how to fish and cook for themselves. And it's been two weeks now. But they've been bringing food every day for two weeks. That'd be nice. Chief Awali was carried ashore, beaming benevolently. Hello, everybody. I've brought the food. Followed first by the witch doctor carrying the huge Upitoi token. If, if I knew what that was, I'd forgotten. And then by the native girls, la, 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 bearing the huge platters crowded with steaming bowls. La, la, la. And then, oh, oh. And then suddenly... The savage bark of a rifle rang out crisply through the quivering sunlight to be followed instantly by a second report. Crack, crack, it says in capital letters. Well, Captain Clifford, I hold you responsible for this, really, because three times, three times you've been, there's been opportunities, mind you, you didn't know about the first one, to stop Saad Sali and Emil Swiner having a load of rifles but every time they've gone like oh no damn sure it'll be fine they 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 are to blame in this regard now that rifles are being shot I, i'm quite exercised about this 